Important question. Have you told your friends that you see ghosts? Oh, absolutely not. We've got a treat for you today as we catch up with a multi-talented Golden Globe winning actress. She's returning to the small screen as the lovable Nell Serrano in ABC's hit series, Not Dead Yet. Let's welcome the fabulous Gina Rodriguez. Gina, I gotta ask, tell us more about season two and what people can expect. Nell's gonna continue on her journey of learning about life, learning from others, uh, shedding some old bad habits, and um, hopefully making some profound changes in, in her life. Ooh, and what has it been like shooting this new season and returning to set with your fellow cast members? Well, first season I was pregnant and being supported by an entire cast and crew was so, so wonderful. It really helped my pregnancy, it really helped that entire journey. And now to have Charlie on set, He's hearing all the voices he heard first season. You can tell he feels so at home. Everybody is so supportive. So it has been in that way a massive transition for me because I went from being, you know, just me and my husband to now me, my husband, and Charlie on set. And then on top of that, it is so strong. The writing is so incredible. The guest stars are so outstanding. Brad Garrett, our new addition, is absolutely tremendous so it just feels not only like a gift but or the gift that keeps on giving but i really feel like we're coming into an awesome stride and awesome groove really getting to know these characters sinking our teeth into them and i've seen a few of the episodes that we've done so far and it is so good i'm so proud of this project oh so where does now story take off in the first episode of season two if you remember first season, she decided to say goodbye to Philip because he wasn't really accepting her for who she was at, where she was at. And she decided that the journey she was on, although it was unfamiliar and uncomfortable and she really didn't know where it was going, she, it felt right and she was growing from it and she didn't want to get back off of it just to go back into a relationship. And so she's back on that journey that's uncomfortable and, um, and unknown and she is still trying to navigate the dating world and still trying to navigate her career and navigate what her housing situation is with her roommate and she hasn't gotten there yet. Talk to us more about playing now. Did you have anything in common with her? There are a lot of things I have in common with now. And I think that what I love so much about the character is that she's so human, she's flawed, and she makes mistakes, and she learns from them, or sometimes she doesn't, and she needs to make the mistake again, and she is trying so hard to make this life that she thought she was supposed to have, and you can't predict life. <laughs> you know, life comes at you, and what is so relatable is the fact that there's this idea of where we're supposed to be, what life is supposed to look like at a certain age. And the truth is, is that's an illusion. Um, things happen at all different, you know, steps of your journey, and. It doesn't matter what age you are. Life has a different plan than we kind of put forth and things change and love changes and uh, your desire for a certain career changes. And I think, at least I grew up in a time where it was like you get one job and you do that one thing and it has to look like that and you get like the family and the house and the dog and it all has to look that way. And you know, even in my own journey right now, where I'm now a mom, it, that looks a lot different than the way I thought it was supposed to. And, you know, uh, we have things a certain way in our life, me and my husband, and we're feeling like we want to change things up. So what is great about playing a character that is constantly learning from every turn, constantly learning from every obit she writes or every person that is past that is saying hey listen to the lesson that I'm trying to teach you because while you're here you can do it um, I'm trying to do that too oh Gina Rodriguez dropping some truth you can watch not dead yet season two Wednesdays at 8 30 p.m. right here on ABC 10.